Dan Ferguson waving to friends or just looking for a water bottle? Probably pretty happy to be back here in Toronto. He's been solid since he's been traded to the Belleville Senators 5-1 and one, and had maybe one of the best NHL debuts getting called up to the Ottawa Senators. He made 48 saves for a 2-1 win over the Pets Pittsburgh Penguins. Keith Petrozelli, who's also been solid, looking to get this team ready for playoffs. His last two starts have been very good, including the 6-2 win over Belleville, where he had 42 shots on goal. You've got a bit of everything on that line. I think you've got some looks to the defensive side in Holmberg SDA, obviously with some really good skill, and Zahorna, who can get in with his, with his big body and retrieve some pucks. So I think this will be an intriguing line for the Marlies moving forward. Give him back to the Marlies. Targa Chinsev turns back and then he hands it over. Here's Reinhardt in alone. Backhand scores. And Reinhardt opens it up and the Marlies give up the first goal of the hockey game. And that is something that they wanted to clean up. Sokoloff again draws back into the middle. And off of Ben Skate, Dahlstrom. Tried to get it back out. He's in the corner and comes back out into position. Up high it comes. Sokoloff comes to the bench. He recognizes he's got a little more distress than he thought. Yervente to the goal. It scores! And I think that one is going to be on the second power play. Tough season to get a rhythm for a goaltender. And yet he's been good every time he's he been really thrown has. into it. He really has. Here's gotta, Sokoloff uh, as he sent it over in the corner. Gotta think that's a little bit of the mental toughness that you want to see in a goaltender. Shot, scores Sokoloff. He called for it. He got it. He made no mistake about it. Yeah, you kind of thought maybe the power plays at the start of the period would be what bring them out of it. Try to get yourself on the board. Take take the first goal of the period, but hasn't worked out that way so far. Bounces in and over. Petrozelli, that one was destined to find a way as it opened up its own eyes and found a way to the back of the goal. And Nick Abrazizi's tripping penalty cost the Marlies their third power play goal against. He got put in a situation in Utica. That is a an extremely tight and tough building to play in for his first start. And this one pops in under his feet, scores. And it doesn't get any better for Toronto here with 9.27 left to go in the second down. Five, nothing. Toronto another chance to get this power play going. Holmberg out of the mix, trying to find the puck here. Clifford in there too. Puck falls, drops toward the goal, and a bang, and it gets across the line, finally! And can't believe it. And Dylan but Ferguson. Clifford is going to get the goal, and does he ever deserve it? Oh, he does, and that was just hard work. And Ferguson's not too pleased. There was a lot of traffic in front. That's one of those situations where the Marlies could dig at that puck, probably wind up in the penalty box themselves. So, good idea just to back off, maintain the power play. If nothing else for Toronto, this is, again, you get 11 minutes left, you're down 5-1, you use these as times to get better, get the power play going, work on it. Target Chinsev, cross Sice, Abrazizi, tip down front, scores! Joe Blandisi! Well, that's gotta feel like you're trending in the right direction. Regardless of the situation, power play goal. Now here's Sharche scores right back at it. Makes it 6-2 as he answers back for the Senators. Inexplicable. The Marlies want to be healthy heading into the playoffs with their best possible lineup that they have. So getting into an emotional affair here in the last eight minutes isn't exactly on the agenda. It shots. Scores. Lucini puts it over the shoulder of Hildeby and it is 8 2, and that is a new record, actually. Five power play goals against in a game. That's never been done against the Toronto Marlies in the history of the club. And DC. Cross Sykes turning. And Zohorna 
And that'll do it. That is not the effort the Toronto Marlies were hoping for in this game number 71. As Dylan Ferguson comes away with the win, their former goaltender this season, able to beat his old teammates and no doubt goes into Saturday night with a bit of a grin on his face.